Hi everybody. I'm going to demonstrate very quickly how I glaze a mug. I really don't do anything special. What's special is that I've done it so many times that I know what works now. This is my sea mist. I'm going to fill the inside of my mug with sea mist. No, no big secret. It's kind of what it looks like. I don't mind little teeny baby lumps. They don't do any harm. Give it a second to dry. The next thing I'm going to do is dip my muck, mug into my chino. Um, I don't wax the bottom of my mugs because I dip them from the top rim down into the glaze to about here, trying to cover that part of the handle, and then just let them dry. Now I know I'm getting extra glaze here, but I don't care because when I dip it into the sea mist, it pulls away from the edge and the chino shows, and I know that it comes out pretty good. So I'm ready to dip it into the chino. Again, to maybe a quarter of an inch above this little rim. So I get down into the glaze and I'm actually watching what I'm doing. Nice and straight down, just over my handle, up and shake. This is one of my trailer mugs, so in a minute the trailer is going to reveal itself. Get those extra little drops off. Sometimes my chino has these little lumpy things in it. I sieve and sieve and sieve, and they still come out, but they blend right in nicely, so I don't worry about it. I take a look to make sure that I've got glaze all the way around the inside of the rim. Now, this really needs to dry better than that before I put it in the chino. I like this little dripping. I think that's what gives the mug nice texture in the glaze. I don't care if I get a little finger mark in my glazes. This is handmade pottery. The more finger marks, the better. If there's any major lumps on my handles, sometimes I dab them because the handles seem to be such a steep swoop that if I'm going to have a glaze drip onto the shelf, it happens right in here. Not quite dry enough yet. I told my husband it's going to be a boring video watching glaze dry. This kind of dabbing doesn't hurt anything. Well, especially because I know I'm going to be putting sea mist on just to under my trailer. Alright, dry enough. I'll rush it a little bit. What I do for the camera. Okay, we're going back into the sea mist. And we're going to go just, what is that, maybe one-third of the way down the mug. If I go any further, my sea mist and my chino will drip down on the shelf. I've learned I can't go any farther than that. It's a quick dip. Again, I'm right in there paying attention to what I'm doing. Down under the trailer and back out quick. Shake it off. That's how I glaze my sea mist trailer mugs. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.